Christine, arrives home to her flat, with Adam, who she just met at New Year's party. Adam looks for something to drink, in the fridge. He grabs beer, and they both start drinking. They start making out with each other. Adam wants to go to the toilet. 13 months pass. It's Valentine's Day, and she gets a call from Adam. He is going to pick her up at 7. She is living with a roommate, Fung. Christine asks what she's up to today. She has math seminar in the morning, and then again in the afternoon. She gets a mail-in through the door. She's got a Valentine's card from her ex-boyfriend, whom she hasn't seen since she was 12. She tears up the card. It's Mother's Day now. Her mother, Marion, is showing her childhood pictures to Adam. Adam comes across a picture of Christine's first boyfriend. Marion reveals that he died, when he was 16, he died of leukemia. To change the topic, she asks Adam, when are they getting married? They have been together for two years, and by this time, Marion already had a daughter. Christine's father has Alzheimer's disease, and she wants Christine to get married, while he is still alive. One year later, Adam moves in with Christine at Easter's. Fung has moved out. Adam goes to get more stuff, while Christine puts on some music. She starts preparing a surprise for Adam. An egg smashes on the wall. She thinks it's Adam. But then another egg smashes on the wall. She goes into the kitchen, and notices a lot of smashed eggs on the floor. An unknown man, the stranger, approaches her, and tells her that he's sorry. Christine wakes up from a dream, now pregnant, married. They are building a cot, for their unborn child. They are struggling with it. Christine starts crying. She doesn't want the baby to spoil everything. Thirteen months later, it's Father's Day. Adam tends to a crying boy, Jack. Christine hears the stranger's voice through the baby monitor, saying, let's get you out of there. She goes to Jack's room, but Adam and Jack are not there. She starts screaming, and Adam appears behind her, with Jack. Thirteen months later, Christine is celebrating her 30th birthday. Her dad, no longer recognize her. Adam arrives, brings his colleague Zara with him. Christine wants Adam to say hello to her dad, but he seems more interested in Zara. Adam takes Zara away, while Marion blindfolds Christine for a game. She has to catch someone, while blindfolded. She grabs her father, who screams in fear. She hears weird noise, and moves towards it. She removes her blindfold and opens the door. Thirteen months later, Adam is trying to pack a bag for a family holiday. He asks her to take some of the stuff out of the bag, unless it won't close. Adam is angry, because the holiday was supposed to be just him and her, but her dad died, so her mother couldn't take care of Jack. Thirteen months later, Christine is filming Jack going to school, for the first time. Marion is taking him to school, because Christine has to go to work. She is now divorced from Adam, and cries in the apartment. Her dad appears, and comforts her. She is depressed, because she is 32, alone, and working in a shoe shop with her gay best friend. Thirteen months later, it's Halloween. There's a bell on the door. She assumes it to be Adam, here to pick up Jack, and lets him in. She tells her friend Bobby, that Adam is here. The man enters Jack's room, and closes the door. There's another knock on the door. She opens the door, and it's Adam, who says that the lift was broken. She rushes into Jack's room, to find the stranger with Jack. Thirteen months later, Christine arrives home with Jack. Jack has burnt his hand on a sparkler. She calls Adam, and tells him about Jack's burnt hand. Marion arrives. Adam tells her, he'll be there in five minutes, and says he loves her. Christine is taken aback. Marion and Jack come out of the bathroom. Jack's hand appears completely normal. Christine is sure, that Jack burned his hand. Marion says that when Christine was Jack's age, she burnt her hand, right through the mittens. There's a burn scar on her hand. It is now Christmas, and Christine is having dinner with her mother and father, Fung, Bobby, and Adam. Her dad appears to be completely normal. She asks about Jack, and Adam tells her that he is getting his outfit on for the nativity. Adam gives her a present, an album of photos from her life. She looks at the photos in the album, and feels like her whole life is flashing before her. Suddenly, she realizes what is happening. She has been in a car accident, and is slowly dying, while her memories are replaying. There are smashed eggs on the seat. The response team breaks open the door, get her out of the car. The stranger from her memories, is a man who apologizes, because he stepped onto the road without looking, causing the car crash. He managed to get Jack out of the car, but couldn't reach her. The episode ends with Christine at the dinner, saying goodbye to everyone, and that she loves them all. Like, and subscribe, for more videos like this.